today. Hey, it's me, Fortnite Feast. Today we're going to be talking about the new season and the new battle pass. The God Optimus Prime in there and he's pretty cool. What if you went to a flower shop and you kept smelling all the flowers and you kept saying smellular every time you smelled a flower? We f***ed up, right? Like gas, gas smells good. Finally, somebody understands me. I don't know what it is, but the smell of like diesel. I don't, I don't like go into like the gasoline, right? I don't like jump my nose in there and start sniffing. <sighs> but like the whiff of it, the smell of it, it's a good smell. I don't know what it is. I would probably buy a gasoline scented candle. Shelby would kill me, my wife would destroy me, but I'd, I'd love a gasoline candle. Gas candle, real. Loving the smell of leather varnish. Uh, growing up in a small town, I think the weirdest smell that brings me comfort and like nostalgia is, um, when I was a kid, I used to go on a lot of road trips with my grandparents and they were a lot of fun. They were a brief reprieve from like the nightmare. And one of the smells that I would often smell while on these road trips, because, you know, I live in Iowa, uh, was like a hog trailer passing by. So it's really fucked up and weird, but if I smell a hog trailer, I get transported back to my childhood. It's like, that just smells like shit. Yeah, but it's like memory shit, right? <laughs> if you catch my ass smelling methane, ah, normal. I loathe the smell of diesel. Yeah, I think it depends. I, th I think everybody has those nostalgic smells. Back when I was a kid, I my mom used to have this specific perfume that she still gets. And when I smell it, I'm like, Mom, you got those, you got those memories. You got to have those memory smells, those smell, smell memories. Me on my way to Huff Gas with Brandon. Yeah, let's all go and take over like one of those abandoned gas stations. They still have a pump with a little bit of power underneath it. We're all going to crawl in the gas tank and enjoy. We're going to huff some fumes. You're not real. You're not real. You're not real. That motherfucker, not real. You're not real. You're not real. You couldn't be real. Your reality is nothing like my reality. You're not real. You're a bot. You're a robot created by the deep Fortnite state. I was born premature. And my mom was told to have the same perfume every time she visited. So baby me would recognize her. Aw. I was also born premature. Uh, but they put me in the big fucking tube. Brendan's schizo arc? Isn't that just every day of my fucking life? <laughs> Isn't that just every day with me? Aren't I always like on the edge of a mental breakdown? Right? <laughs> yeah, they put me in a tube. I was a tube baby. I was I was born during the Great Flood of 93. They had to life flight my ass to a hospital 80 miles away on a helicopter. And then they took baby me and put him in a big tube for about two weeks. And they were like, okay, he's normal now. I don't know how. Doctor was flabbergasted. I had a, I had a heart murmur when I was a baby. And then it just healed on its own. Doctor was like, this boy's strong. I was like, how did I have that that high of a will to live as a baby? I did it again. I had such a huge will to live as a baby. Sheer force of will. Shill, shill, shill force of will. Sheer force of will. Uh, my body was just like, yeah, that's not going to work for me, pal. Uh, so not going to say I'm like a miracle baby, but I will say that um, my body, my body uh, just decides whether or not I'm healthy sometimes. Your baby body purged the meth. My parents didn't do drugs until like I was five. My uh, my mom was uh, 15 when she had me. My dad was 17. My parents didn't do drugs. They were like they were like teenagers. There's some Brendan lore for you, which is like it's really weird to have young parents. And if you also have young parents, you'll understand. My mom is uh, I'm 30, right? My mom is 45. OK, so if I go anywhere with her, people automatically assume she's not my mom. Like, oh, Who's this, Faith? That's my son. Oh, oh. And I'm like, yep. That's my mom. It's great. It's, great. it's super weird. When I was in high school, uh, and my sister was littler, because uh, she's, what, like 14 now? When my sister was smaller, uh, I'd walk around like with my mom, and people would think like it was our baby. I'm like, that's my mom, dude. Please stop making this weird. I'm like, that's my mom. <laughs> Please stop making this weird, dude. Because people just assume... Like, especially old people will literally, old people literally just assume anything. They're like, this is my worldview. This is how this works. That's like, oh, you two, your baby is so cute. It's like, yeah, this is my son. Right in my, I'm convinced every family in Iowa is fucked up because my only exposure is you. No, no, no. I'm a rare case. You know, I talk about my family foibles uh, a little bit more than normal people would, I think. I think everybody has a little, uh, like, 
family fracas every now and then. But me personally, I do have a really weird childhood. So, like, if I bring something up, you know, of my own accord and talk about it, it's weird. I try to do that less because uh, I want to make I want to help people forget that I'm a freak. Uh, but yeah, not everybody is fucked up. People have normal families and shit. I'm not even like that fucked up. IMO. Like, yeah, my family life is fucked, but like I it, it's normal now and it's it could have it could have been way fucking worse. But yeah, people have quote unquote normal families. There are people out there who like have two loving parents. Uh, they uh, can like afford uh, being taken care of. They grow up to be like doctors and shit. But like, I don't know. I don't worry about it. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't worry too much about it, right? Like, I'll talk about it if I think it's funny or if I think it's relevant. But a lot of the times, like, it, it shit's weird. People are fucking weird. It's why, uh, it's one of my big things when, like, um, and I've heard this before from people, uh, like, talking to people or family. Uh, they're like, man, you know, yeah, you had a bad childhood and yeah, you had to suffer. But that helped you create, like, your art and your personality and stuff. And I'm like, I'm fucking losing my mind every time somebody says that. I want everybody here to know that you don't have to be, like, fucked up and crazy. You don't need trauma to, to be funny. You don't need trauma to create art. You don't need trauma to be, like, creative in any way. I fucking hate that shit. You can have a completely quote-unquote normal life and be one of the craziest individuals on the planet making the most insane shit. And that's perfectly okay. And you can have a horrible... Uh, like childhood in a horrible be a horribly traumatic person or not person oof have like a bunch of horrible shit done to you and be completely normal like hi i'm normal shit's fucked up there is there is no reason for anybody else to suffer just because anybody else has suffered too you don't need an origin story yeah you don't need a fucking uh, what is it in spider verse i haven't seen it yet but the uh you don't need a canon moment yeah canon you don't need a canon event Spider-Man could have just been some guy who, like, put on a spider costume and eats spiders for the circus. Not a single Spider-Man out there eating spiders for the circus. Why do they call you the Spider-Man? I eat spiders. Not a single... This is why I know that Marvel is so bereft of originality. No ideas there. Not enough trauma there, you know? I, I know that they're bereft original ideas because they never listen to me when I email them about the guy who eats spiders who works at a circus named Spider-Man. Drama gets views, though. Yeah, but drama is fucking... Like, d drama? Or trauma? Cause like, I don't give a shit. You do not have to be sympathetic towards me in the fucking slightest. While I appreciate it on some human level, you ain't gotta worry about my shit. If I talk about my shit, it's usually for like, story reference or because I, I think it's funny. Is eating spiders traumatic or not? abso fucking lootly I wouldn't wish eating a bowl of spiders on anybody. You put me on Fear Factor. Bring Fear Factor back, right? You tell me eat a bowl of spiders. I'm gonna ask how much money it's gonna be, right? But I'm gonna be a little trepidatious about it. I'm gonna be a little stinky. I missed every shot except for one. Fucking great bit, Brendan. Push me. Push me. Do it. Ah, fuck. You're fucking dinosaur. Four health! Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. What is up with Fry's hair? Why is it like that? I'm... <laughs> oh my god, it's so long! I got drum shotgunned. It's fine. It happens to the best of us. Every person who kills me, ninja. Every single one, ninja. That was ninja. Ninja got me. That's crazy. Ninja? That's crazy. It, they, Their name is Man of Steel is me, but I think ninja? Is that ninja? That's crazy. A little Joker's trick for you. Uh, for you Fortnite heads out there. If you just pretend that everybody that killed you is a high-level top competitive streamer, you'll never feel bad ever again. Unless the chat makes you feel bad, in which case, like, fair, honestly. I am kind of shit. I play for fun, okay? Fun. It's not about the victory royales, I swear! If all of- if the three other people in this game just decided to jump off their buildings right now, I'm just saying that'd be so cool. Oh my god, this really is just a waiting- this is hide and seek. Oh shit. <laughs> there they are! <laughs> Go and get them! <laughs> that was the funniest- that was so fucking- <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about that all day. Just the fucking... Huh? <laughs> I heard somebody. Oh shit, they're fighting. I won! Suck my ass! See, I can win a game sometimes. 
Sometimes. Now I'm not gonna win another one at all. It's not gonna happen. Nobody's gonna know. How are they gonna know? They have no fucking idea. They know. Mine. I know where everybody is. There we go. Fuck yeah! Love the shit. Do you put the milk or the cereal in first, Brendan? The cereal? I'm not a psychopath. What do you fuck? <laughs> Hell no. Milk first? How the fuck am I gonna know how much milk I need? Why the fuck would you put milk in the bowl first? Like, I get it. Like, it's like, oh, well, I don't want it to be soggy. It's like, it's cereal. That's part of the cereal experience. Best cereal go. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fuck. I don't know. I don't have a preference. I like pops. Reese's Puffs. The streamer answer is to say you eat it dry. What am I, a fucking streamer? Listen, I'm not sitting here watching fucking 50 YouTube videos in a row going, ha ha, nice. Uh, obviously not a streamer. This is, a uh, uh, video game edutainment. I'm here to teach you thing. How can I call myself a streamer if I haven't embroiled myself in any controversy? This is horrible. I'm not going to get on that, though. But, uh, Brendan, what if you got on that? What kind of controversy would you get into? But, but, don't talk to me about Butter Rat. So sick of hearing about Butter Rat this, Butter Rat that. I'm sick of the Butter Rat. Immediately getting embroiled in heated controversy with the Butter Rat. Groot! Immediately getting into heated controversy with Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Me when I point at Groot and I say, WOOD! Groot says, no, I'm Groot. Oh, of course he's hiding in the trees. Brandon, do you only play solo? No, I play with friends sometimes. A lot harder this season though, because this, this season, it just sucks. Uh, there ain't no if and or bot about it this season kind of sucks. Whoa, is that Groot? Oh my god, famous character from Guardians of the Galaxy? We grooted him. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna point directly at me and say, You just got Groot. Didn't happen though. Didn't happen. Are we your friends? Ha <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I love hanging out with my chat. My close personal friends here in the Twitch chat. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. Remember, th remember that time we went to the Denny's, all 60 of you, and then me also, and you all ordered pancakes and I ordered French toast and you looked at me like I was the psycho? <laughs> Thanks. Love hanging out with all my close personal friends in the chat. Hey, have you heard of parasocial relationships? Oh, you're about to feel really parasocial right now. You're all invited to my second, uh, brie. Is it a brie where they cut like they, you're all invited to my second circumcision. That's right. It's going to be done in a sterile environment, but it is going to have a big glass window there. They're cutting more off. They said there's been a complication. They need to cut more off, and you're all invited. I think I have plans that day. It's mandatory. That's a briss. Remember that time every single one of you helped me move? That was so awesome. Oh, God, I'm going to get God, aren't I? It's a real... Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I got God. Yeah, you can tell they're a real gamer because they're using a boring ass skin. I don't even feel bad when I get killed with somebody with like a skin like this because I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that tracks. That's a boring ass skin. They hate fun. I have to have the perfect skin. The thing is, the other skins have worse hitboxes. Yeah, they don't though. Yeah, but they do actually though. If you watch Fortnite Feast, uh, he's a guy I like to watch, right? He sits at a dinner table and eats a full turkey while he talks about Fortnite <laughs> tech. Crazy guy. I love Fortnite Feast. If you watch Fortnite Feast, when he's eating the ham loaf, he talks about it and he shows the hitboxes are different, I swear. Today, hey, it's me, Fortnite Feast. Today, we're going to be talking about the new season and the new battle pass. I got Optimus Prime in there and he's pretty cool. You may, you may remember Bob, um, Optimus Prime for a. You know, you may, you may, remember, you may remember him from uh, a little, little, little um, Transformers. He got like the sucking sounds and he's got like grease on his fingers. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fortnite Feast. Remember to use creator code Fortnite Feast whenever you're buying all your new Fortnite skins and uh... Well today I'm gonna be eating a big bowl of ice cream. While I also talk about the new uh, the new Futurama skins. <laughs> Worst gimmick. Oh god, Brendan, stop. <laughs> you can like see it in your head. He's sitting at a big, a big long table with uh, like platters and platters of food. <laughs> so, so today I'm eating Takis. They're they're pretty good. And uh, I just saw that the new Jujutsu Kaisen skins are out. And I mm. uh, oh these Takis, dude! Oh god, I got, I got them all over my controller. Remember to get uh, gamer subs at uh, Fortnite Feast. 
It's a pretty good flavor. It's a flatulent fanny, and uh, it tastes like raspberry lemonade. <laughs> Fortnite feast is in your head! And he'll never leave, and he'll never leave, and he'll never leave. Oh, fuck, grapple gloves. I thought these were the invisible gauntlet for some reason. Gamer Sub's got some rancid flavors. They got a they got a flavor called titty milk. They do not care. Is he bald? Fortnite feast? N you can't tell. He wears uh he looks like he looks like a rounder version of Al from Toy Story 2 in my head. Is his he's wearing a bowling shirt and it's covered in grease stains. He always wears a hat. Somebody fighting over here. Hey, are you shooting at me? I'm the alien. Don't shoot at me. I'm the alien. I'm the alien from Alien. Don't shoot at me. I'm a cool friend. Oh, I didn't even see you. What the fuck? You like blended in with the fucking Bren environment here. What the fuck? I did not see them. Tan ass skin fucking wearing that shit. Trying to like blend in with the wood. Would you learn magic if the only wizard in Ohio was a mud wizard? You have to trek through three miles of mud every time. No, I wouldn't learn magic then. Fuck that. I don't need magic. Magic is just going to complicate my life. I don't need magic. Hey everybody, Fortnite Feast here, and today I'm playing a little game called, uh, Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Uh, it's got guns like Fortnite, but, uh, I don't know about this one, guys. This one's pretty dubious. <laughs> Fortnite Feast has been arrested. Uh, we don't need to tell you why he's arrested, but you can pretty much assume it's the reason you're thinking. Why was Fortnite Feast ar arrested? I, uh, you, you know, it's the reason you think he was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I- shouts out to you if there is somebody named Fortnite Feast. I'm so fucking sorry for dragging your name through the mud. If there is somebody actually named Fortnite Feast out there, so fucking sorry. Uh, this is about a bit about a character that I made up called Fortnite Feast, so if- if there is a real Fortnite Feast out there, I am not talking about you. Damn, somebody could jump on the Fortnite Feast wagon immediately. Make it up to them, hey, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, today I'm going to be playing, uh, Cruelty Squad. And, uh, I'm collaborating with my favorite Fortnite creator, uh, Fortnite Feast. What's up, guys? Back again with another Fortnite fe fe Feast video, and today, uh, today we're with, uh, Brent Daniel here, Rob. Uh, this guy, he kinda sounds like Markiplier, kinda crazy, so I decided we're gonna play some Five Nights at Freddy's with him. Hi, Fortnite Feast. Yeah, isn't that awesome, dude? It's so cool being here. Uh, can you say your famous line, Brent Daniel? I'm not Markiplier, I'm not- I'm- I'm experiencing a mental breakdown. I, uh... I, 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 I crave death. Oh man, that's so crazy. Anyway, like, follow, and subscribe. Hi. Don't kill me. You're not real. You're not real. You're not real. Oh, did you run away because I ran forward? Oh, you're a bot. Not real, not real. That motherfucker is not real. When is somebody going to make a first Wii Fortnite wherein you have to uh, get a celebrity on? They have to play Fortnite with you? And, uh, it progressively gets harder. It'll just be like First We Feast, but it'll be First We Fortnite. That'd be so cool. The Fortnite Feast is going to appear in your doorway in the middle of the night. <laughs> He's gonna be heavy, <laughs> heavy breathing. I was, uh, I had a ridiculous day today. I played a lot of Fortnite, and, uh, it kind of affected my dreams. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night, and there was a heavy set man wearing a stained green bowling shirt in my doorway. He had a small soul patch, and he was balding on the top of his head, and he was obviously covering it up with a uh, Fortnite Loot Llama uh, cap. And this gentleman, he kept, uh, well, he kept looking at me in kind of a weird way, honestly. Uh, he kept rubbing his hands all over his shirt, and it seemed like he was in my doorway, and I couldn't tell if I was dreaming or if I was awake, and he was some kind of sleep paralysis demon. He had hyper-realistic hyper human eyes, and he... And he looked at me and he pointed at me and he said, Top of the morning to your fellows, it's Fortnite Feast back at it again. You ready to get down with some fucking content? And then I woke up. He like started lumbering towards me and I woke up. And I, I, I'm thinking about it still. I'm still thinking about it. Was Fortnite Feast real? Was it all a dream? I'll never know. But I will say something that did unnerve me the next day. When I woke up, there was a discarded chicken bone in the doorway. It had a uh, green goo all over it, but I never saw Fortnite Feast ever again. And I don't know if I ever want to. What, when you eat food, don't you leave behind a viscous green goo? I mean, come on. <laughs> like, come on, dude. What's even the point of eating food if you can't leave behind a, a, a trail of residue? Like, come on. 
He's not a specter, Brendan. Yes, he is. All I'm saying is the Fortnite Feast did die in an active war zone 30 years ago before Fortnite was even like a real thing. And we commemorate his memory by remembering here. It, we remember him here. He's a real person with real feelings. You can't convince me that Fortnite Feast is real. I do not care. Fortnite Feast has his own real world slurp juice. Yeah. He does. He just he has a barrel of blue goo. He just keeps a big barrel of blue goo around with him. Fucking terrifying. He like he like carries it around with him too, like Borai Cho carries around a big jug of liquor. Fortnite Feast walking around, belly hurgling and gurgling. <laughs> love me chug, love me slurp. Sir, um, are you gonna check out? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I just gotta say, love me chug, love me slurp. Yeah, Fortnite Feast replaced me at the Best Buy. Is that what we're going with? I got, I like, I quit, and Fortnite Feast took over my job, and he, Top of the morning, you guys, you ready to get set up with an Alienware computer? It's got a lot of processing power in that son of a bitch. Please, Fortnite Feast, let me be, let me be, let me be. You got a, <laughs> you got a good head on you, kid. You, uh, you keep this up, you could be just like me, the Fortnite Feaster. Oh my god, he releases a video every Easter called Easter with the Fortnite Feaster. Oh my god. Fortnite Feast is mirror universe, Brendan. Fucking vile evil, in fact. Can't even call him the evil version of me, because why is he evil? How did he get to be evil? What what was Fortnite Feast's canon event that made him the way that he is? One day I was at my computer and I was eating a big bowl of Doritos and I realized I was having a feast while playing Fortnite. And then I thought, damn, what if I Fortnite Feast? And that's my story. <laughs> Fortnite Feast going- gonna be running into the city fucking streets eating people? No. Fortnite Feast just chillin', having a good time, eating a big turkey. I'm so dead. With the cat skin and the laser! This is just to trick any bozos who have like a weird crush on, um... Uh, this is just to, uh, thwart any bozos who have a weird crush on Lisa- Lisa? Leela? So that they can be like, Leela! And bow down immediately to me. They'll be like, take your shoes off! Was Fortnite Feast at the Last Supper? Fortnite Feast was at the First Supper. You know he can't miss a good meal. That's his tagline. Hey, what's everybody? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Fortnite Feast, and uh, you know me, I can't miss a good meal. I gotta have a good meal. Fortnite Feast already is better than me. I don't have a tagline or a cool name or anything. Why is Fortnite? He doesn't even exist. He's not real, but he's better than me. That's it. Fortnite Feast, he's racist. We did it. All right, no longer. He's <laughs> We're ruining him. We're embroiling him in controversy. He's racist now. That's it. He can't be better than me. He can't. He can't be better than me. Hey, guys, I gotta apologize. Welcome to the apology video. Uh, it's 45 minutes long. Hope you enjoy. A lot of Discord screenshots in this one, guys. But yeah, Fortnite Feast ate a person. Not even in the funny way. He's just actually been eating people this whole time. He dropped- he was on a live stream and he dropped a big bucket of fingers? And people had to be like, on his stream, are those fingers? No, they're- they're not. I, I don't mind those. Oh no, I don't eat- I don't eat people. I don't eat people. He said repeatedly on stream. Make sure your friends know about Fortnite Feast. They gotta know. Die. 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 I missed. Die. Die. Not real. You're 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 not real. Fortnite Feast can't hurt you. He's not real. He's not real. He's not real. Make me think Fortnite Feast making me think of the episode of Invader Zim where Zim just kept consuming more human body parts to become more human. He just looked like that. He just hurgling. Ah! Fuck. He just hurgling and gurgling. Gotta, he gotta, yeah, gotta do Silence of the Lambs, uh, but with Fortnite Feast. Hello, Brent Daniel. Brent and I drew a rough caricature of Fortnite Feast. Oh no, do I- <laughs> I gotta fucking pull up the Fortnite Feast picture. Oh no. <laughs> he lost his right pinky because he thought it was part of his food. <laughs> Downloads. <laughs> it's so large. Hey everybody, uh, Fortnite Feast here once again. Oh my god. Today I will be eating, uh, Mama's apple pie, and we are, uh, gonna talk about the, uh, movement tech in this season, the, uh, the mud. He's so huge. I'm here to, uh, feast and Fortnite. You know, people say feast or famine. He's like, feast or Fortnite. Why not both? Fortnite feast. Not gonna keep Fortnite feast in the corner as a webcam. <laughs> I'm not doing it. 
God damn it, this one's gonna have to get a highlight video just to talk about Fortnite fees. I'm so mad. I'm so mad this stream's gonna have to get a highlight video just for Fortnite Feast and that's it. It's gonna get like 300 views on the second channel. It's important to the Brendaniel Lord. Nobody's gonna remember it after this day. What's his theme song? We gotta think of the Fortnite Feast theme song. This is something like <clears throat> Fortnite Feast. Fortnite Feast. And it's like, welcome back once again, gamers, to uh, Fortnite Feast. And uh, today we're gonna be eating some uh, jalapeno poppers while we pop ourselves a jalapeno back into uh, the world of Fortnite. Fortnite Feast. <laughs> This is so fucking stupid. Enemy by Imagine Dragons. What are you doing? Tell me you're the greatest. Oh, the misery. Talking about Fortnite with the Fortnite feast. <laughs> He's gonna get an official song from Imagine Dragons somehow. Feast boy. Or like yeast boy. Cause I'm gonna bake you into some bread! But what if you were digging into the cornfield but you found Fortnite Feast's petrified corpse one and a half feet bur buried beneath the dirt? We have to revive him. The world needs Fortnite Feast, now more than ever. Listen, all I'm saying is... 2019. The world went to shit. Not because of COVID. Not because of the nightmare that is the Earth. But because Fortnite Feast disappeared. The day that Fortnite Feast disappeared is the day that things started to go sour. What we didn't know was that Fortnite Feast was part of a very intricate series of locks and levers left here by God to protect us. We have to bring him back. We have to bring back Fortnite Feast. Will you Fortnite Feast or will you Fortnite Famine? Fortnite Famine is his hater channel that somebody clips in comments like DSP. <laughs> oh my God, did you guys see Fortnite Feast? He literally pulled a chicken an entire live chicken out of his belly earlier today. I cannot fucking believe him. Can you fucking believe that Fortnite Feast- And nobody watches Fortnite Famine 2. It's like fucked up. Everybody loves Fortnite Feast. I'm so fucking- I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I got- I got confused. Barbie Gamer Subs. They would never offer a Barbie Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs is all about like... Fuck- uh, Finger Blaster 79 make you squirt drink. Like- <laughs> It's like, that's like the level of Gamer Subs marketing. <laughs> you go look at Gamer Subs flavors right now and you tell me you couldn't see a fucking can of Gamer Subs that's like shitting your pants luxuriously while finger blasting your three girlfriends all at once. You can't tell me they wouldn't do that as a flavor. Oh no, Sasuke. They would never give me a Gamer Subs flavor because my Gamer Subs flavor, I'm going to think of the most rancid thing ever. Ooh, you know what? Hurgling and gurgling jungle juice, I think, would be my gamer subs flavor. <laughs> I'd shoot for a bomb pop flavor. That's what they should give me. Hurgling and gurgling jungle juice. Oh my god, where is Sas Sasuke? so fucked. Gonna do gushing granny. Or just hurgling and gurgling juice. It's just gonna have a picture of, uh, 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 uh I don't know. It's <laughs> something big and something round. Why did I say that like a wedding? Something borrowed, something owned, something big and something round. Listen, my mom's really upset that I spent 50k on this inflatable wedding suit. But listen, it's part of my lifestyle. She just doesn't get it. The wedding is inflation themed. Sasuke. New gamers. Yeah, flesh and blood skin. It's skin flavor. Isn't that yummy? Oh. Dandra flavored gamer sups. Fortnite feast with his two kids, Chug and Jug. <laughs> Yeah, me and the wife had twins, and, uh, yep, these are our boys, Chug and Jug. Get over here, Chug Jug. Oh, Fortnite Feast, please no, don't talk about- <laughs> Fuck! Fortnite Feast dropping his kids off at the fucking Chuck E. Cheese for a day of play in the ball pit. Daddy's gotta work, I gotta get back home and play more Fortnite for the fans. <laughs> Die? Oh my god, they're putting me with so many real people today. Maybe real? Mm, Gucci baby? That's gotta be real. Ah, uh, Gucci baby, Fortnite Feast's real nemesis. You mess with the feast, you get the beast. <laughs> get over here, I'm about to go feast mode on you. Yeah! <laughs> Me when I- Yeah! Oh, they gotta deal with the boar. I'm so fucking sorry. You mess with the beast, you get the feast. <laughs> 
first name Fortnite, last name Feast, got more fucking money than Mr. Beast out here in the fields going out to Tilted. Yeah, that's what you're gonna be, because you're gonna be Tilted. Uh, Fortnite Feast SoundCloud, one view. One view. Nobody's watching his SoundCloud. Hey guys, can you uh, follow my SoundCloud later for a... Uh... For a good time. First album, uh, <laughs> Fighting at the Dinner Table with Mom. Releasing October 24th, 2025. I was feeding the pig juice. I love going out to the farm and finding all of the hogs, individually lining them up, and then giving each one a glass of orange juice, because they deserve it. Then they tell me get upset and they shit everywhere. That's what that farmer gets. Don't fuck with me. Oh, but I- Optimus! Real, real, I'm so fucking dead. Son of a bitch! Do you think they ever- I wonder if somebody ever made Saturn devouring his son, but with Transformers? Or would it be like Megatron eating Starscream? That probably makes the most sense. Alright, now that I'm with, like, a bunch of real gamers, they put me in the fucking Fortnite school, I gotta learn. Had to hire a Fortnite tutor, paying him ten bucks a week. Please teach me all the secret tips and tricks. Read my book, you'll understand. Gotta hire me a Fortnite senpai, please. I wonder how many motherfuckers... Like, I do genuinely wonder... Like, there aren't any around me, but in larger cities, there gotta be like Craigslist ads for like Fortnite tutors, right? Hire me, 12 bucks an hour, and I will teach your child to be better at Fortnite so they stop complaining. i be like, oh, thank God. It's worth it. I, hi I hired Justin three hours a week, and that's a blissful three hours of peace. Let's treat it like a babysitter. There's a Fortnite guru in the apartment next to me who leaves flyers at the other doors. Gotta learn from the best. Remember, though, those who can't do, teach. <laughs> That's a reductive statement. Of course you do. Why wouldn't he teach? Yeah, do you want to give me- you want to give me his number? I need somebody to teach me how to play Fortnite. I gotta hire this guru. You're not gonna shoot at me? What- what- Did you think I was a bot? Are you a bot? That's a bot. Ah, tepid porridge. Sometimes, like, old people food is good, though, says the old person. Every once in a while, you like something a little, a little, like, tame on the tummy. You need slop. Every once in a while, you gotta eat slop. You can't just be eating fine feasts all day. Gruel is not old people food. Gruel is, like, orphans in the 1800s food. Oh, please, sir, can I have some more? Like, that's Oliver shit. You run an orphanage, those kids are eating gruel. You should not be eating gruel for any reason. Yeah, they'd be really old by now. They'd be dead. Are you saying that an orphan from the 1800s would be alive to this day? No! Yeah, they'd be really old. Yeah, in the ground! I found those strawberry candies that grandmas have at the Overstock store a while back, and I've been feasting. Do some Werther's Originals with you. We really needed this rain. Would you like a Werther's? No, Grandma, I'm fine. Ah, uh, a, little, a little butterscotch for you. Give you a little Werther's Original. No, Grandma, I'm fine. I'm normal. I a little butterscotch for you. Just a little treat. Just a little taste. Brennan, do you have Turkish delights? What am I, the fucking White Witch from Narnia? You want me to dress like the White Witch? You just want me to dress like the White Witch. I fucking see it. I ain't got enough cleavage for that. My breasts aren't hefty enough. I'm not falling for it. Would you like a Turkish delight? Would you like to eat a round meal? Hmm? Would you like a Fortnite feast? Hog. I'm never going to be able to go to the Dave & Buster's, log into my Fortnite account one of the Dave & Buster's computer, and then immediately, immediately start showing people, hey, check this shit out. One. They're like, I have 79. Yeah, but I got one. Oh, that's another dad with his son. We are fighting fathers. Now I'm going to shoot this guy fighting fathers. Back here, Bender. It's me, Gold Bender, and I have my Gold Bender son. Get back here, Bender. Bender, I see you, Bender. Hey, Bender. I see you, Bender. Get over here, Bender. I want to show you something. Ah, fuck. Normal Bender's better. Oh, fuck you, drum shotgun. Yeah. And he had a friend. It's easier to raise a son when you have a partner. I didn't have a partner. Raising my son all on my own. My Bender is, uh, my Bender OC is a single father. Raising his son all on his own. Um, he's trying his best. But, uh, normal Bender is better. Uh, especially since he does have a partner for his son. And I'm just saying, he's got a little bit of a tactical advantage on me with that, so... I don't think that was a fair fight. Doesn't count. wonder how many kids these days think Futurama is a Fortnite show. I, I love the idea of, uh, like, somebody logging onto Fortnite after a big day at school, getting home and seeing the Futurama skins and going, Ew, this is an old person show! When am I gonna get fucking one of the Cocoa Melon strawberries on this son of a bitch? When am I gonna do a Bluey skin? Give Bluey a gun, now! 
When will when will they let Bluey hold an assault rifle? I'm waiting for it. Hey, kids know what Family Guy is. They got all those fucking TikTok videos of like uh uh Bender the uh, not Bender the funny Family Guy clips with gameplay underneath. You gotta have that sewer surfers. If you don't have the sewer surfers, what are you even doing? Brian Griffin funny moments while sewer surfers plays underneath. Hey, uh, Peter, what are you doing there? Ah, uh, gee, Brian, I'm just looking at the dog shit gameplay underneath me. What fucking awful gameplay? This guy fucking sucks. Bluey with the drum shotgun, what will happen next? Bluey with the bender laser death ray, what will happen next? You accidentally watch one of those Family Guy clips, by the way, and your feed is stuck with them. The worst part- the worst part about those clips with, like, gameplay underneath of them on TikTok is if there's anything that's, like, adventure time, I immediately am like, I have to watch this. I have to see what this is. I'm dead. Ah, you're dead, actually. I'm dead. I'm so fucked. I'm a chump. 